Hello Taurus, welcome to your June predictions reading. So let's go ahead and have a look at what's upcoming in June for my Taurus. I hope you've been well and have been taking care of yourself. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy this reading and there are messages for everyone in my videos. All right, let's get to it and see what the vibe is around you, Taurus. All right, we have happiness, okay, joyfulness, uh, possibly a gathering. This is really all about getting together with a group of people and just really enjoying yourself. Okay, this could be an event that's upcoming. This could be an event in June, okay, or something that has recently been in your experience. Despair, okay. <laughs> All right, so let's counteract the, the happy vibes here. Despair. All right, so let's go ahead and have a look at why despair is here for you, Taurus. Um, also, if you're interested in your own personal reading, you can always reach out to me. My details are in the description box below, and I'll pop a link up here for you as well. Spirit, tell me about joyfulness for Taurus. What is joyfulness? Happy vibes, celebrations, events, happy holidays. That's the vibe of joyfulness, getting together with a group of people that you're really close with, that you really just enjoy their company. What does this mean for Taurus, please? There we go. We have love okay falling in love this is about a new pathway a new journey aces all are all about new beginnings fresh starts something brand new okay and it depends on the suit okay and this is a suit of cups which is all about love emotions fulfillment um, usually it's about a new romance a blessed union getting together and having a great time for some reason this is you know, got a, a bit of a um, low vibe card and I'll check it out and see why that's there. Tell me about despair, strength, reversed, could be a Leo, is on their way out. Okay, strength reversed is all about um, maybe even, you know, because strength upright is all about loyalty, all about that alliance, that agreement that, um, you know, we'll, we've got each other's back, okay? It's all about that, you know. If you look at the strength card, you can see that strength, you know, okay, uh, it's like Archangel Gabriel, that's what they say, and it's got the eternity symbol, meaning that there's eternal, um, that eternal alliance, okay? We're always thinking about that treaty, that agreement, that um, taking care of each other. And the lion is very well aware of this. But because it's reversed, it's telling me that that alliance may be broken, okay? It, it's like there is something in the way of this strength, maybe even courage, okay? Someone uh, decided, no, I'm not going to go forward with this because I just don't feel brave enough. I just don't feel I've got the security within myself to to go ahead and do this, okay, and maybe that is why that strength card, maybe someone is just backing out, fading out of this because it's like, I just don't want to pursue this right now, okay, and that is there, okay, whether this is you or whether this is another energy, like, for instance, the person you're feeling that with. So let's go ahead and look further into this and see exactly why this is here. Tell me more about this beautiful love here for my Taurus in June. Okay, so judgment is a cancer sign. Judgment is a final decision or someone returning from the past, okay? Um, judgment is like a resurrection, someone coming up out of out of the past, you know, um, and, and coming forward towards you. And then we've got another cancer sign card with a chariot. So you've got two cancer signs. All right, it could very well be. It doesn't have to be the cancer sign. It could just be, be the meaning of the card. And we've got Virgo in the back there too with the hermit. So we have uh, a resurrection 
resurrection, something from the past, could be travel. This is progress as well. Chariot is all about moving forward, moving onwards and upwards and positively um, trekking forward. Okay. It could also be a D divided decision in regards to which way should we follow through okay then we've got the hermit which is really about contemplation and solitude um, spending time on your own really needing to ponder and think about the progress of this resurrection situation okay now let's go ahead and have a look at why the strength card was reversed. Could very well be a Leo that you, you were just sort of umming and erring about. It might be. Um, but let's have a look, Spirit. Tell me more about the strength card. Both reversed again. Very interesting. Uh, the hangman reversed is not a bad sign, but the empress reversed is kind of challenging. So the hangman reversed indicates um, that something that was stuck, stagnant, you know, paused, um, is now um, clear. You, the pathway you can go through. All right, the road has no more roadblocks. Okay, we can go zoom straight forward. Okay, no more hesitation. Um, but the Empress reverse indicates we're just not putting enough nurturing, not enough love, not enough care into this situation. Okay, so it's all, all steam, uh, full steam ahead. You know, we can go forward. You know, the, the roadblock's gone. However, do we really want to? Okay, so this could be uh, very much a situation in June for you, Taurus, where something is uprising in your experience okay and then you kind of like yeah I really want this you, you know you're really happy about this um, love you know it could very well be an a, a past flame type of thing um, re-emerging uh, this person may have been quiet with a hermit card could have been a cancer or a Virgo um, and you're just needing to contemplate and think about you know do I really want to go forward with this um, and the despair would be um, yay or nay, uh, I'm feeling that you're kind of stuck between, you know, um, two ways, basically, do I really want this and do I really want to invest my emotions and love and care into this situation, even though it's all, all um, the roadblocks are gone and, and it's full steam ahead and there's nothing stopping us now, do I really want this? So let's get some guidance from Spirit and see further into this. Spirit, tell me more. Oh, well, okay then. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's up to you. Well, that's not much help, Spirit. It's up to you, basically. Let's see what else is here in the near future. Just wait. All right. So, you know, and when you've got the wait card, you know, it's really about just following through with what you feel deep down inside, in your heart, okay? All of us Tauruses are going through a different experience, even though there is a baseline, um, you know, regarding with the readings. We may all resonate or we may take bits and pieces of each reading and be like, that's my story. But at this point in time, it doesn't matter what your story is. It doesn't matter what your situation is, Spirit, saying it's just time to wait. Hermit card, okay, just be patient and wait and because things are going to clear up in the future to help you make a better decision. All right, Taurus, like I said, personal readings, you can always reach out to me. My details are in the description box below. And as always, Taurus, I send you so much love. Peace and light. Bye for now.